Hi, I'm Dr. Anthony Harwell. And I'm Dr. Tanner Cook. And we're with Harwell & Cook Orthodontics. And today we're going to answer some of those common questions we get when it comes to braces. So people always ask me, does it hurt to get braces? And it does not hurt to get braces. Putting braces on is very simple. What happens is when your teeth start to move, then you start to experience the soreness and the pain that people talk about. It's very tolerable, some Tylenol or Advil, very simple way to take care of that, but there's no shots, there's nothing very difficult. It's just a simple sit down, make sure we keep your teeth dry and place the braces on, and the take process doesn't take more than 30 minutes. It's very simple. Uh, there's a lot of different kinds of braces. In, in our office, primarily, we use the Damon Braces system. Um, it's a, a metal bracket that has a door that closes that allows for really light forces to be used while we're moving teeth. We also have some clear braces options, and uh, we use aligners like uh, Invisalign or Spark aligners. People always wonder how braces are put on. It's really a simple process. The most important thing is to know we need to keep your teeth dry and accessible for us. So we'll hold your lips and cheeks back so that way we can put the braces on there uh, with the teeth totally dry and we just basically set them on the teeth and then we shine a blue light on there to, to dry the braces and that's it. Yeah, it's a question that really depends on the case, but typically we will go eight weeks, maybe even 10 weeks in between appointments, especially early on in treatment. Uh, as we get closer to the end and we're making some smaller changes, we will want to see you a little bit more often, you know, four to six weeks, something like that. With aligners, with some of the technology we have, we can go 12 more or more weeks in between appointments. There's really a lot of variation with the technology we have and the way we do things. At our complimentary consultation, we'll get to talk to you about how long your treatment is, how it's individualized and customized for your case, what our expectations and your goals are for you. We'll discuss specifically for you how long we expect your braces to take, um, but there's a wide range. I mean, it could take anywhere from a few months for, for simple things, but you know, over two years for cases that we need to grow. And in some cases, we're watching grow and develop um, without braces on even for a while. So there's a, a lot of variation in that. So the American Association of Orthodontics recommends an exam at age seven. And, and the reason for that is really what we're checking for is growth and development. We want to make sure that everything in your mouth and in your jaws are growing and developing like they're supposed to. So if there is something that's going off, we can intercept it at, at an early age when it's often easier to, to correct. And, and we can sometimes do some very simple things at that age that allow for normal growth and development to occur. That way when it is time for braces later on, uh, we, we've kind of taken that care of some of the potentially major issues. Putting on braces, I always say, increases the level of difficulty. As you progress in your treatment, you'll get so used to it that it doesn't take any more time or effort. It's just part of your routine. But there are some special things, electric toothbrushes help, water picks. We have a lot of little devices, but more than anything, it just takes the decision to take care of them and spend the time to do it. So when you have your braces on, the biggest thing is, we want you obviously brushing your teeth, but you, you have to brush the braces as well. And, and that's really what we focus on, is brush your teeth and then go in and spend time brushing under the braces, around the braces, and really making sure that, that the braces are, are kept clean as well. Uh, clean teeth, great oral hygiene does a couple things for us. One, it gives a superior result, a great smile, and also reduces and shortens treatment time. Whenever we're keeping the teeth clean and talking about that, we wanna make sure that we're not getting any decalcifications around the teeth and, and that things really stay you know, like they're supposed to with your gum tissue and, and, and things like that. If you want the best smile possible in the most efficient amount of time, keeping your teeth spotlessly clean is the most important factor. Elastics rubber bands are a key part of most everybody's orthodontic treatment. People want to know why do we wear them, and it's to move our teeth, it's to help our bite fit better. And the most important thing is to wear them as directed. We change them, we alter them, and we customize them throughout treatment. But overall, it's working to get the bite correct and have the best smile and results you possibly can. Wires alone are not enough to make sure that the teeth fit like they're supposed to at the end. And so we we'll use rubber bands to make sure that you guys secure the investment that you've made to make sure that we get the most beautiful result we can. So at your complimentary consultation, we'll sit down and discuss with you your options. Sometimes braces and aligners are interchangeable. A lot of that's based on your lifestyle changes. The greatest thing about aligners is you can take them out, 
And the worst thing about aligners is you can take them out. That's why we have a decision based on what you think you want to do, what your options are for treatment, and what we're trying to accomplish to get the smile you want. So while you're in braces, we want you to avoid hard and sticky things. Hard things like ice and, and nuts. Uh, those things as you're eating can push on the braces and break them off. And, and the sticky things like taffies and, and bubble gum, those are gonna get stuck around the braces and just make it really hard to clean around. And so we want you to avoid those things. That way we can make sure that your treatment stays on time. We don't break any brackets off and we have a nice efficient treatment. So oftentimes dental insurance will cover orthodontic treatment. We have a specialist in-house and, and during your complimentary exam, we'll go through and make sure that we're maximizing your insurance benefit to make sure that we get the, the most out of it for you. You don't have to be in network to come see us. We'll take care of the insurance part of it. All you have to do is come in and work with us to get a great smile. So after your braces are removed, actually becomes one of the most important parts of your treatment, retainers. Retainers are critical. One of the old sayings is nighttime for lifetime. Our goal is to create a beautiful smile and your part is to maintain that smile long term is to wear your retainers. What's amazing now with technology is we can scan you, we can keep you on file, and we can remake, we print models, all sorts of things so that you can wear retainers for the rest of your life. And when you finish treatment, we scan you in and create a virtual copy of you. If you lose your retainer, if it breaks, if it cracks, or you just want a new one, as simple as a phone call, oftentimes we'll be able to make you a new retainer in, in, in days, not months or weeks. At Harwell Cook Orthodontics, there's no need for a referral, and all you have to do is pick up the phone and call today to schedule your free consultation. We'll come in, examine, give you an idea of what your needs are, and work with you and your family to create a beautiful smile. Why do we do what we do? We create beautiful smiles. We change people's lives. It's amazing what a smile can do to change someone's confidence and outlook on life. And we get to be a part of that and it's one of the true joys of my life. As orthodontists, we create smiles and, and that's kind of our, our thing that we love to do is, is smile out loud. And, and that confidence that we can give patients, especially you know when they start off with, they don't want to smile. And, and when they're finished up, they have these beautiful smiles and they're smiling for everybody that they see. That's, that's our passion, but we love what we do. Thanks for watching. And drop a comment below if there's anything else we can answer.